Hey, hey guys, Carl here, Tactical Rifleman. I figured we'd have a little bit of fun today. I got a lot of viewers that like ARs. I got a lot of viewers that like AK. So let's go AR versus AK or AK versus AR. I don't care, but what we're going to do first, we're going to talk about uh, the advantages of these things. AKs are famous for being reliable. They're reliable because they're sloppy. The tolerances are old AKs. They're just crud tolerances, but they're reliable, right? Uh, the ARs had a long history of being unreliable because the tolerances were so tight. But the reality is, guys, a good modern AR, it's if you take care of it, you keep it clean, you run it the way it needs to be ran, it's an accurate, very, very reliable uh, weapon. Likewise, the new modern AKs, uh, they've tightened up the tolerances on them to make them a lot more reliable. And with that, you, uh, to make it a lot more accurate, but with that, you start to lose a little bit of the reliability. Now, that said, both of these guns are made by Tactical Edge out of Clarksville, Tennessee, great, great uh, veteran-owned company. And this particular one right here, this is, what's this one called? The Grunt. The Grunt, guys, this is Z's Work AR. Made, if you've seen my Work AR, it's made by Tactical Edge. Guys, this is Bobby here from Tactical Edge. Today, he's gonna go by the name Ivan. Right? His company makes this awesome AR. Uh, they also make this awesome uh, AK called the Grunt. This is the, the I'm comrade. sorry, the, the Comrade. Yep. All right, he's, he's even got an AK-74 version called the... Zaitsev. Zaitsev, nice. That's the one I use on Gunny Time. We are making this test as fair as we can. This is the modern version of the AK. Uh, it's a very, very reliable gun. I'll vouch for it. This thing's very reliable. Now, he has the modern tab here on the selector lever, uh, dust cover, so that he can sweep it. That was something that used to slow down the old AKs, 50s and 60s. He's got the rail. He's running a modern red dot optic on it. He's got a light on it. He's got the forehand stop, uh, barricade stop, this muzzle brake. This is a great modern AK. So guys, we've stacked it. This is as close as head to head as I can get. Let's go mano a mano. Ivan versus Z. It's going to be awesome. All right, first one guys, right out of bat. We're going to run a pro timer. We're using our standard VTAC targets. Our hits, what we're going to call a hit is that high A zone. We want it, right? Your heart is roughly the size of your fist. Uh, if you sit it on your sternum, that's where the heart sits inside the chest. Guys, that is the center of the high A zone. All right, so Z, you're gonna uh, go first. I always give it to the home team advantage, all right? Uh, running a pro timer, uh, you can go, we're gonna do single shot on, uh, on the buzzer. You can go high ready or low ready, your call. I'll go low. Low ready it is. I'm sorry, shooter's ready. Stand by. 0.65, man, I almost want you to shoot that again. I'm pretty sure that's one of the slowest ones I've ever seen Z do. All right, Ivan, you ready? I am ready. Outstanding. Shooter indicates ready, stand by. 0. 0.80. Dude, that is lightning fast for an AK. Good shooting, guys. All right, I'm gonna mark these real quick. That AK makes a big hole, doesn't it, guys? That said, this is shooting paper. If you are shooting 5.56 five, with good uh, combat ammo, good home defense ammo, 5.56 five, is still delivering a lot of energy because it's moving faster than that AK is. All right, so both great home defense rounds, both great combat rounds. It's why those two rounds dominate uh, all combat firearms in the world today. All right, guys, the next one's gonna be a double tap. Why? Because anybody worth shooting once is worth shooting twice. All right, so same thing. You're going to uh, up drill, either high or low ready, two rounds to the high A zone. Z, you ready? ready. Shooter indicates ready, stand by. 0.81. Good shooting, brother. Double lung the guy. Ivan, you ready? Bobby, you don't mind me calling you Ivan. You I got the beard and stuff going on. It's awesome stuff. Good stuff. All right, guys, I understand everybody thinks it's a test. It's a test. But understand the whole point of the low ready is so that you can see furniture to the front of you while you're moving. All right. Shoot indicates ready. Stand by. 
Nice shooting, 1.09. Matt, you, you practiced with this thing. Not in a long time. I'll tell you what, uh, he's much better with an AK than I am. Since you call him Ivan, it's easier. All right, again, uh, dude, I got 100% hit rate. Z, you know Z and his uh, nipples on the t-shirts. And then Ivan is stringing him up and down, staying center mass, which is what we want, guys. We want center mass as that guy starts to collapse left or right. He's still staying inside the high A zone. Great shooting, Bobby. Real good shooting. So next one we're going to do is uh, it's called the rifle speed reload. It's going to be a drill that you would do if you were outside 25 meters, barricades around, whatever, on the modern battlefield. You guys have a mag with only one round in it. You, I mean, an empty mag. So you'll have an empty mag in the gun. So to set this drill up, they're going to have one round in the chamber, empty mag in the gun, a magazine to do a rifle speed reload. You do not have to transition to your pistols here, Z. I know it's force of habit, muscle memory. All right, so again, this drill represents being out on the modern battlefield. Your rifle uh, runs Winchester on ammo. You get that rifle back up, get back in the fight. All right, so one round rifle, reload, one more round. You two both understand the course of fire? Yes. All right, now Z is reloading from a, from a dump pouch, and uh, Bobby is reloading from his vest here. You ready? All right, shoot indicates ready, stand by. Four point six five. You didn't make operator standard. Dump pouches. That's all right. uh, dump pouches suck. Remind me to get you a uh, a uh, mag holder from uh, Wilder Tactical. How's that? Or ATS. Bobby, you ready? I am ready. Four point six five. I think you can get them on this one. I really do. Shoot indicates ready. Stand by. 6.09. Now, guys, that was a lightning fast AK reload. That was. That was smooth. You saw how he swept the mag. Good reload. Good reload. Still 6.09. to mention keyholing on both of those. Dude, the you're a great shot. We've already established that, man. You're the man. You're the man. If I, if I get into an AK gunfight, I'm so bringing Bobby with me. Z and his uh, nipples. All right, good shooting. Good shooting, Z. And then Bobby keyholing right here. Bobby's going, what is that, guys? What are we going to call that? We're going to call that right atrium. It's also the descending aorta. Uh, it's, uh, those are good kill shots, good kill shots. So now this next drill, guys, we're going to do two targets. This is going to be the box drill, right? So you're going to do to the chest of this guy, to the chest of the second guy, and then you're going to finish them both off with T-box shots. We're going to have to make that a little bit harder. What do you think? Tactical Rifleman Nation, let's make this a little bit harder. Guys, I want you to hand me that empty mag. Hand me that empty mag and give me three to five rounds. All right, there you go. Put that one in your gun. So you have one in the gun. Yep. You have one in, um, you have one in the pipe, one in the pipe. A random number of rounds less than six. Random number of rounds less than six. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to finish the drill. Two to the chest, two to the chest, head, head. Requires six bullets. What I want you guys to do is we're going to actually use an extra bullet to stop the pro timer. Work the drill with your rifle. When, you, when, the, uh, when your rifle shits the bed, when it quits, immediately finish the drill wherever you at with your pistol. Then... Immediately do that check drill, get that long gun back up, reload it, and then I want you to fire one more round to your tee box. I mean, I'm, I mean, to your high A zone, where you're just using that additional round as an administrative way to stop the pro timer. You guys understand the course of fire? Yes. Do you understand it? Outstanding. Z, same thing. I'm gonna let you go first. I'll let Bobby watch it. Shooter, you ready? Box drill, to the chest, to the chest, head, head. Shooter's ready, stand by. 
15.79. If I get you a speed reload pouch, man, you're going to be awesome. Here we go. All right. Z's got two to the chest, his original two. That was his finished round. Shot to the tee box. Two to the chest. Pistol round to our tee box. When we say tee box, guys, we're talking about uh, the eye sockets down through the nose. Bobby, I think you can beat that. What do you think, brother? I'm going to try. I'm going to give it my, uh, my best effort. You know, that's what I would do. Give the old communist a try. So. Shooter ready. Ready. Stand by. Seventeen point two three. That's a solid check drill performance by the AK. Bobby, as you see, he's very fluid with his movements with the AK. Stumbled a little bit getting the mag out of the mag pouch, but he didn't stumble as much as Z did getting it out of his mag pouch. Right. Um, all in all, good, great, great shooting. He started on his target to the chest. His administrative shot to to stop the timer. Two to the other chest, big AK holes. And then he went back and finished the guy off with the uh, shots to the head. All in all, good shooting, guys. Um, but hey, pretty well, we can see here, the AK is great. This AK ran reliable. This AK is, a, as far as AKs go, this is a solid gun. The AR, a uh, solid gun. Nothing fancy about it. He's running red, regular red dot. But guys, the, the times don't lie. I put the best operator I could find behind each one of the guns. I did not stack it in any direction, uh, but I'm here to tell you uh, I, I'm gonna stick with my AR all day long. Anyways, guys, that's all I got. I don't care which side you lean, I don't, because they're both great weapon systems. All we ask is, whichever one you choose, you gotta train with it. Just watching these videos, they're not gonna do it for you. They're really not. You've gotta actually get out, get to the range, and just remember, special ops units spend as much money on training as they do on buying equipment and sexy kit. I want that to sink in. Get out there, take a class, and go train, guys. That's all I got this week. I'll see you all next time. You all take care. Shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.